So in this, uh, we are going to see the Q operations. So what's a Q? Q is nothing but uh, we stand in uh, in normal life. We stand in a bank or a, before an ATM in a queue. Then we stand in a ration shop to get our uh, it, and we wait till our turn. Okay, so whoever comes first, they will be standing in the queue first. Then the next person comes, will stand next to him, and so on. So if you imagine this here, the person who comes first and sixth person, next person, and so on. The last person is at the end of the queue. Now, how they will be? Uh, they will be serviced. The person who is has come first, he will be the one who will be serviced first, and the last person he will be the last to receive his service. So this this is called queue. The same queue method we are going to implement in our data structure. So the removal, the removal is done from the front. After he is served, he will be removed. The addition into the queue is done at the end of the queue. So unlike stack, here there are two pointers. One is the front and the rear. Through front, you remove the data, which is in the queue. Through rear, you keep on adding data. Okay, at any point of time, you have to verify whether queue is full or empty. Why we have to do? See, for example, if the queue is empty, you cannot remove anything. There has to be an element in order to remove. Whereas, if you want to add, there must be space. So, see here, this queue is already over. If you are going to add, you cannot. There is no space. So, it will give an overflow condition. So, for addition, during addition, you have to check for whether there is space in the queue. While removal of any element, you have to verify whether there is any element in the queue. The queue can be implemented with the following structures as well as other structure also. But in this, what we are going to say is arrays, structure, pointers, linkless. Especially in this video, we are going to see how to implement a queue using array. So, what are the features of queue? Features of queue is nothing but how the operations can be carried over. Q is an ordered list of similar data type. Yes, of course, similar data type only we are going to, if it is an integer, we are going to uh, insert only integer. If it is a string, we are going to insert the same string type. And it is of, uh, the technique which is followed is first in, first out, which is nothing but the one element, the element which has been entered first, that will be the serviced as first. So it is called FIFO. And element is inserted first will be removed first. NQ. NQ is nothing but adding data. And it can be done only at the rear. DQ. DQ is removal of an element from the queue. So insertion is done from one end called rear. And removal is done from the other end called front. That is what we have seen. This is the front. Here you will remove. And this is called rear or tail where you add the data. Q is said to be overflow state when it is completely full and is said to be in underflow state if it is completely empty. Fake is nothing but just we are reading the front element without removing it. So we have is full and is empty to check whether it is empty or Q is empty or uh, full. Now, where we apply the Q? The Q can be the Q data section. Q technique can be applied in serving requests on a single shared resource like a printer, CPU, task scheduling and all the queues are used. In real life scenario, call center phone system uses queues to hold people calling them in an order until a service representative is free. So it will be put in a queue. One by one it will be attended. So handling of interrupts in real time system in computer. The interrupts are handled in the same order as they are first come first serve. Now let us take an example. Uh, we are, as I said already, this we are going to see the array implementation of Q. So here uh, we have used an array, and let us consider this as the front. Uh, index starts from zero, zero, one, two, three, four, five. So this let us consider 
here six elements can be inserted as the index starts from 0 to 5 and saying six elements. Now this is the front and this is the rear. You can remove the element from uh, front and you call that as a DQ. You can add element through the rear and you call it as an NQ. Now, so these are all the uh, abstract data structure. That is what are the functions which you can carry over in a queue. So NQ is add, DQ is a removal, and PQ is to get access the first element of the front without removing a reusable ESMT. These are all the functions which you are going to implement in our queue mechanism. So first we'll see how to do an NQ operation. NQ operations, Q maintain two data pointers, front and rear. Therefore, its operations are comparatively difficult to implement than that of the stack. It has two pointers. Unlike uh, in stack, you have only one pointed top through which only you add, which only you can remove. But here it is not that. Through front you remove, through rear you add. Now, now what we are going to see here is NQ. So before adding anything, first you have to see whether there is any space in the queue. So we are checking whether the queue is full. If queue is full, then you have to, the program will reply uh, overflow, so it cannot be inserted. Else, some space is there. Now you first move the rear pointer to the next position. And then in that position, you add the incoming data. So if the queue is not full, increment the rear. First, you have to increment and then put the D here. So this is what NQ. You can add the data. So add data element to the queue location where rear is pointing and return success. Next one, DQ operation. So here what you do is, uh, before removal anything, you have to check whether any data is there. If data is there only, you can remove an element. And how you can remove the one which is pointed by the front. So first you have to do check if the queue is empty. If the queue is empty, you return the error message that there is no element. Or else, what you have to do is you have to move, you have to store this value temporary in some temporary variable, the CA, and then move the pointer to the next position so that this can be no more accessible. So if the queue is not empty, access the data where the front is positioning, pointing, then increment the front pointer to point to the next available. Now this is no more accessible because we are following the strict rule that you can access the data only through the front and rear. 